Welcome to another Mr. James Accounting Tutorial. Today's topic is General Journal Entries and it's taken from the June 2017 past paper number 1B. Okay, part B. On 31st March 2017, the accountant at first call transport company discovered three year and the events that require entries in the general journal as follows and we are uh, to prepare the entries in general journal to show how these events affects the income statement at the end of the accounting year of first call transport company narratives are not required First item, a debtor had paid only 50% of the $3,000 owed to first call transport. The money received and the bad debt incurred had already been entered in the ledger. Okay, I take that to mean that the bad debt recovered was instated and um, now you have to write it off all over again, right? So the workings would be 50% by 3,000 percent by 3,000 equal 15,000 and then when we get the 15,000 we will enter it in the general journal here. debit bad that's recovered and we credit account receivable to knock it off again okay now this part here that they had already been entered in the ledger so they would have credited bad that's recovered at 1500 and debited back the accounts receivable with 1500 so we have to reverse that entry all over again the next item the company is to provide for bad debt at the rate of two percent of accounts receivable of four three thousand six hundred then the workings two percent of forty three thousand six hundred is equal to eight seventy two and then we come to the general journal and we write it in we debit profit and loss account with 872 and we credit provision for bad debts 872 and the last one the company had paid the sum of 18,000 to its landlord to cover the rent for a year and a half okay that's prepaid rent if it's a year and a half it means a half year is prepaid so we do the workings, working three prepaid rent eighteen thousand divided by one point five equal twelve thousand. We take the eighteen thousand, it just means it's twelve thousand per annum. Take the eighteen thousand minus twelve thousand, we get six thousand prepaid. And we enter it in the box prepaid rent six thousand and we take it out of the rent expense of six thousand. Okay, so that's the end of the presentation. I hope you find it helpful.